Soaking up one of Tasmania's most famous pieces of scenery can now be done behind the safety of panoramic glass. It's a change years in the making. What was here, the world's ugliest car park in the most beautiful setting, is now something that we can all be incredibly proud of. The Dove Lake Visitors Shelter is ready for the thousands of tourists that enter Cradle Mountain National Park every year. It's been designed to nestle into the wilderness. Coming back here in 10 years' time to see all the all of the blonde timber turned silver uh, and to see these concrete surfaces colonised by lichens, just like uh, the, the glaciated um, rock faces around us. Cradle is one of the state's most popular national parks, second only to Freycinet. Tourism operators have watched visitor numbers explode this summer, averaging higher than before COVID. At Cradle Mountain itself, we've seen huge numbers here, record numbers, in fact, um, to the stage that um, we've had our biggest day ever, which was in excess of 3,000 people. The consistent stream of tourists has prompted him to develop a new luxury hotel. We're doing a, a yeah, staged project, so 20, 22 rooms uh, plus four, four of the pods and a restaurant, which will start, uh, hopefully, we'll start moving around the end of this week. While the visitor's centre and the viewing shelter are now complete, there's still a missing piece of the puzzle. The government wants to connect the two with a cable car. I mean, all the research that's been done on this suggests that it's the, the best outcome. The alternative is, is expanding the road or, or creating a new road, and no one wants to see that through native vegetation in the World Heritage Area. It's not a tourist attraction. Um, it is a transport solution uh, for getting people into and out of a very sensitive, beautiful area. The government is currently considering the business case for the cableway. It's expected to go to the federal government in the first half of this year. Erin Cooper-Douglas, ABC News, Cradle Mountain.